Madam Speaker, it's an honor to address you uh, about this bill today. Madam Speaker, have you ever heard this said anywhere? We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Those words were written at the birth of our nation, and they're in the Declaration of Independence. And now we stand here today and we realize Maybe it was missing some words or the words weren't quite right. Maybe it should have just said, everyone is created equal. Back in 1776, when we were ruled by monarchs, that was such a radical idea to say that. But for women, equality is still an idea that we're struggling for today. It may be something we're struggling for, but it's no longer a radical idea. It's fair, it's smart, it's good, it's good for business, it's good for families, it's good for the state of Washington. You know, paying people different paychecks for doing the same job is unfair. It's unbelievable and it's kind of un-American, really. You know, it is wrong to pay someone who is white more money than someone who is black or Asian or Latino. It is wrong to pay a, pay a Catholic more money for the same job than a Protestant or a Muslim or a Jewish worker. It is wrong to pay someone who is straight more for the same job than someone who is lesbian or gay or transgender. And by the same token, it is flat wrong to pay a woman less than you would pay a man to do the same job. But it still happens, and a really big reason why this happens is because we don't know it's happening. They're, we're not allowed to know the truth about this. You know, even the most conservative economists will tell you that the markets work best when buyers and sellers know the truth and can bargain fairly and equally with one another. And that basic information is being kept from women, from everyone today. So this legislation does a really simple and powerful thing for us. It shines a light on the truth, on the problem, so that the free market can actually do what it does and fix this problem when it exists. Because we know that without the creativity and the talents of women, our economy would falter instead of soar. Madam Speaker, we deserve the truth. We deserve the same pay as a man who does the same job. And I'm very proud to be the last speaker on this bill and perhaps the last speaker before cutoff today to urge you to vote for this bill. Thank you. I have received a constitutional majority. Gross House Bill 1506 is declared passed.